Now let's see in place heap sort algorithm. So in this video I will be discussing about in place heap sort algorithm. Why this is called in place? Because uh, we will be taking a single array for taking input as well as we will be treating the array as heap. We will not take any kind of other auxiliary array. That is why it is called in place heap sort algorithm. So what is the first step? Well, we will take input in the array. So this is equivalent to inserting the node as a leaf node in the heap node. And after that, after each insertion, we will be calling the up heapify function with the index of the last added value uh, to restore the property of heap. So we will be doing the up heapify. And then uh, this process is known as uh, building heap from the array. After that, what we can do? We can uh, delete the root node by interchanging the value of, of the root node with the leaf node. Why we are going to delete the value of root node? Because in max heap, we will always get the value, always get the maximum value at the root node. So that's why uh, from the root node, if we can swap the value of root and the last added leaf node, then uh, the first biggest, uh, the first uh, greatest element will be placed at the last of the array. So the element will be sorted. And next we will be doing uh, the heap, uh, down heapify to restore the property of heap and then we again we will be uh, uh, deleting the root node and place this in the next last element uh, next let, next last index. So we will uh, be keep doing that until all the elements are sorted. So in this way you will be seeing that all the elements will be sorted. So that's the magic behind heap sort. Now let's try to see an example. It would be a lot more clear. So here I have an uh, uh, I have a list of integers. So I want to insert this in a heap. So for, uh, first I will be building a heap from this uh, list of integers. So first I have added five. Then I can add these two right here as a leaf node, and I will be checking the value of uh, value of this node with its parent. So in this case, the heap property is not satisfied. Max heap property is not satisfied. So we will be interchanging the value, pointer will be right here and no need to check further, 2 is inserted, then I can insert 8, so I can insert 8 right here because um, the heap is complete binary tree, we cannot insert these right here, we must have to insert this right here. Again we will be checking the value with its parent and we can see that the heap property is not uh, satisfied, so then we can swap these values right there okay now the pointer will be here and the heap property is uh, balanced uh, satisfied now I can add this one right here and we can compare that uh, everything is fine no need to do a heapify then I can insert this 9 right here and I can compare the value with the parent node we can see that the heap property is not satisfied so I must have to interchange the value the pointer will be right here and again I will be checking the value with its parent another swap is required right here okay now everything is fine so after doing the heapify the array will look like this 9 8 2 1 and 5 so the first part is completed now what we are gonna do we can see that from the max heap we will always get the maximum value of the array in the root node so in in the next part we will be swapping the value of root with uh, uh, the last added leaf node so the value and we are conceptually deleting the last added leaf node so if it will be placed at the last of the array it means that the one element is sorted then we will be doing the down heapify from starting here we can see that heap property is violated we will be checking the value with uh, its children so and we, we will be picking the children which has greater which has a larger value so we will be picking 8 in this case so I can swap 5 with this one and the pointer will be right here okay okay let me write down uh, 9 right here one element is sorted and then 
we will be checking the value with its children and you can see that the heap property is satisfied so no need to do anything so everything is uh, fine now again let's uh, delete the root node again so keep deleting the root node uh, until all the nodes are deleted so how to delete that node first swap the value with uh, last added node so I can write that another element is sorted now detach this node now let's try to restore the property of heap using down heap file start with the uh, start from the root node and uh, try to check the value so you can see that the value of parent is not greater than its children so let's pick the children which has the greatest value so uh, so in this case i will pick five uh, and i will swap the value five and one all right now everything is fine if property is satisfied uh, let me write down that uh, this is deleted uh, okay now let's try to again delete the root node so how to uh, do that by interchanging the value with the last added leaf node so i will be swapping the value with 5 and uh, 5 will be placed right here another element is sorted so now i can detach this node and i can check whether the heap property is, sat uh, is uh, satisfied or not yes it's satisfied so no need to do down heap 5 now again delete the root node how to do, do that just swap the value with the, la with the last leaf node and we can uh, say that another element is sorted so detach this node okay fine now there is only one node left so let's try to delete this node so here the leaf node and the root node is the same node so swap the value and we can say that this is placed and we can delete now the heap is empty it means we are done in this way we can sort the entire array now let's try to see the algorithm so first i will be showing you the algorithm for up heap file so in the uh, in the up heap file algorithm what i am doing here after each insertion i will be calling this function up heap file by the uh, by passing the heap as an argument and the index of the last added element so in val variable i will be storing the value of that index and then I will be checking whether the index is greater than 0 and the heap property is violated or not. So here I have written uh, heap index minus 1 by 2. So I am checking the value with its uh, parent. So if the value is uh, a value of the parent is lesser than the value of its children, then we need to interchange the value. Otherwise everything is okay, heap property is satisfied. But why I am writing this? Uh, index greater than 0 because if index is 0 if we are passing index 0 in the up heap by function it means that uh, everything is uh, uh, it means that we are going to add the first element and after adding the first element we won't have to do anything so from index 1 we will have to check so here what i'm going to do here i'm going to uh, i'm going to raise the value uh, of the I'm gonna down the value of the parent uh, to its children so, and I am making index as index by 2 so I'm setting the pointer index pointer to its parent so after end of loop we will be getting the correct position where I can place the value so I now I am placing the value at index okay instead of doing all of this this could be done by using only swapping the value of uh, h index with its uh, parent this is also fine so if we are doing this no need to write this statement and this statement now after building the heap from this array we have to call this heap sort function by passing the heap as an argument now what this function will do this function will repeatedly delete the root node and uh, after that uh, that uh, this will do down heapify after each deletion 
so in this way we will be getting all the uh, uh, nodes all the sorted elements so let's try to see how this function works so first i have uh, taken a variable uh, and i have initialized this with uh, the current size of the heap because we will be deleting the heap uh, we will be deleting the uh, deleting the root node from the heap so that's why the size will be decreased uh, in each step so now as i have to delete all the nodes uh, to completely sort the array so if uh, the size of the heap is uh, uh, m as i have initialized the m with the size of the heap then uh, the maximum possible index is m minus 1 so to delete all the nets we uh, uh, all the uh, nodes we have to iterate from 0 to m minus 1 now i'm del before deleting i'm just swapping the value of the root node with uh, with the current uh, leaf node and then i'm reducing the size by 1 and after that i am uh, calling down heapify function with the current size of the heap so after each deletion uh, i will be calling the down heapify function to restore the heap now let's try to see how the down heapify function will work well it's it's a bit complicated uh, to understand uh, now let's try to see everything in greater detail so in down heapify function I have taken the heap and the size as an argument. So I am using two index marker. One is for the current node, and another is to uh, uh, another is for the uh, children of that node. Now, initial I have initialized both of these marker as zero. Now I am checking whether two i plus one is less than or size. As size is the maximum possible index. So I am checking whether a node has children or not. If the node has no children, then we won't have to do down heapify. But if the node has a children, that, the, that is if uh, the index of the children doesn't exceed the current uh, maximum possible index, then I can enter in this loop. So here I have set uh, J as the left child of that node. If you don't know about this formula, you can watch my first video where I have discussed what could be the formula to calculate the um, parent or children of uh, any node. So, if i is the index of the parent, then uh, its uh, index of its left child will be 2i plus 1. Now, here is the trick. The uh, root node, uh, the parent node may or may have uh, two children. Uh, it could have one children also so first I am checking that whether it's it has a uh, two children or not so I am checking if J is the index of the left child then J plus one will be the index of the right child if it doesn't exceed the current maximum possible index then I am checking the value of the root uh, value of the parent node with each children so if uh, it's uh, violating the if it's not violating the property that that means if uh, the value of the root node is greater than both its child uh, then uh, we can break this or if the root uh, if the parent node has only one children then this condition will not be true for that purpose i am checking the next condition i am giving the next condition or if it has only one children then uh, i need to check the value of the root with only one child that is the left child or a single child so if uh, this is still not violating the property then i can uh, break uh, break this loop because we won't have to do anything now if this is uh, violating the property of fit then i have to make sure that the uh, the current node has uh, two children so what i am doing here i am checking which one of the children is greater than greater so if uh, j plus 1 doesn't exist uh, exceed the current maximum possible endings then it means that it has two children so then i am picking whichever children is uh, has the maximum value if j plus one has the maximum value then i am setting j as uh, i am incrementing j if it has only one children or if uh, uh, the left child the, the value of left child is not uh, is greater than the right child uh, then this will not be executed so then i can swap i can interchange the value and i can set the point index marker i as uh, the children that uh, to which i have swapped the value so here we have reached uh, to the end of the loop 
so in this way we can restore the property of heap now let's try to talk about the time complexity well inserting an element in heap will take log n amount of time as we want to build a heap uh, from a from an array which has a size of n then insertion or building heap will take uh, let's say that uh, this is t1 so t1 will be n log n for all the elements again let's say that t2 is the cost of deletion repeated deletion so deleting a single element will take a uh, log n amount of time as we have to delete all the elements then we have to multiply it with uh, n that makes sense uh, so as heap sort is nothing but uh, building the heap and repeatedly deleting from heap then if we add these two cost we will get the actual time complexity so that would be 2 log it would be a base 2 n to the base 2 now I can write this as a less than equals to some constant k into log of uh, n base 2 so simply we can write it as uh, here will be n so big O of n log n so for best case average case and worst case the heap sort algorithm will take n log n amount of time so in my next video i will be sh uh, showing you the implementation of heap sort in c++ and java